time just uh, i would just, just go on to the fourth agenda point very quickly you have to have some views from you regarding bicycle sharing and especially use of electric bicycles in a, a rural or semi urban you know uh, context if you take into account peri urban areas uh, what do you feel about it is there a, is there a workable model where you don't have a lot of demand maybe single hub state that is what we are experimenting with one micro state per village so a person takes the bike from there returns it there and demand is less so uh, we are just trying to see if we're managing a small fleet which can be probably you know uh, uh, serviced by a local entrepreneur like a local cycle shop so a person who is using a uh, you know ic two wheeler instead uh, decides to go for an electric bike and yeah. for a longer time just returns it back to the same shop in his village the model and what are the challenges hey, prem uh, very valid uh, question i was pondering over this over uh, the last night right many of uh, the uh, private capital vcp uh, capital chases always uh, the uh, urban densities rather than the rural uh, uh, let's say demand uh, 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 i i hail from a very small town in uh, uh, southern part of andhra pradesh right uh, wherein uh, from the village to the nearest uh, public transport okay Uh, forget anything else just the public bus it is uh, roughly about 5 to 8 kilometers okay and there are a lot of these villages that exist right and all of these are being catered to today as it stands today with uh, what you call as the shared auto right uh, that is very prevalent even in uh, uh, urban conglomerates where you see that uh, the buses are traveling in a very specific route the mini vans are also in very specific routes which are like more like a 20 25 seater ones and then there is lot of these 5 uh, to 10 seater capacities uh, and uh, uh, these are traveling very very short distances 5 10 15 km distances right so this is exactly the same kind of uh, your topic right uh, when it comes to when it uh, when it comes to actual use case right uh, uh, the the people who are moving all across are not just moving alone okay they are also moving along with some bit of uh, goods and uh, luggage okay uh, this is also one important point which we miss when it comes to urban uh, movement versus rural movement okay they always have something in their hand uh, uh, could be their produce could be the implements that they are using could be the batteries that they want to repair could be a motor pump that uh, they they are moving across the electrical winding has shot off or whatever right so all of this cannot be catered to with your typical uh, let's say uh, a pedal bike or a normal electric bike okay if you put in the electric bike uh, that we are talking about that uh, zoom car has put in definitely that will still cater to it can take a capacity of roughly about additional 50 to 70 kg uh, uh, kg uh, which is amenable enough okay for these guys all they would need is probably a good amount of uh, let's say luggage carriers or hooks or whatever right for them to hang all their stuff but apart from that yeah form factor wise it still makes sense uh, and one other important thing uh, as you rightly pointed out is it's not dispersed a and b are more or less fixed right the a is let's say the village there are maybe b c d e f that's it right there are four or five points more often than not there are only one or two points that these guys are going to okay which is the next big mandal uh, of a or let's say the village panchayat or whatever right so always there is a two and four that is happening okay the only point is that the overall number of rides that are happening are probably limited to not more than about four a day okay all said and done okay if you are expecting that a to b that has gone in the vehicle is coming back from b to a that's not going to happen till the it's a lunch time or whatever right and then probably one more is going to happen after lunch and that's it uh, one more on the, in the evening right uh, so for a private investment to actually make a dent in this uh, the the paying capacity is not so high when it comes to only four rides uh, you are going to ask this guy to pay up uh, anywhere between 30 to 50 bucks whereas you are competing with about roughly about 20 bucks for the same kind of ride 20 to 25 bucks okay it is uh, almost 100% mark up this is where probably the governments can offset a lot much more of investment okay roughly anywhere between 30% to 50% of the asset cost is tied up in the public when you pick up uh, car it is roughly about 35% when you pick up bike it is roughly about 50% okay if you come up with a mechanism of capital that is being raised for the batteries and how the asset in itself is looked at in terms of balance sheets so the the battery is unpacked from the asset the asset is capitalized and financed separately and the battery is unpacked probably cross subsidized by the government uh, and uh, including the charging infra 
uh, I definitely see there is a huge scope. Uh, you can just take uh, probably your top uh, and you can uh, got capital audience all across, right? Uh, that is one thing. Is rugged mess of this. Okay, there is going to be a mafia which is the local, uh, let's say, auto guys or whatever. Uh, at the first step of uh, you putting uh, unmanned, uh, dockless, or dock version of these bikes, uh, the next day they are going to disappear. Okay, with that, said, or let's say the uh, hardware comes down, right? Uh, which is also one thing is where you need to open all these posts and make them part of the solution, right? The micro entrepreneur should be that. Who is operating those routes today, right? That is one. Second one is the form factor has to be very large. Okay, we have seen a lot of these versions that have uh, gone through. Let's say take the recent example of jump bicycle. There is a version of 5.5 that is coming up. A uh, very very rugged form factor, right? But still, most of the design has been done only for uh, urban roads. Okay. Uh, if somebody designs uh, for uh, urban India, I think it is more or less mimics nowadays the rural roads. Uh, not very great as such, but yeah, all said and done, uh, you need to be touch proof, waterproof, uh, to a very great extent, IP65 rating or whatever that you can put in. More or less, the hardware is uh, almost at that part. When it comes to tires and uh, the frame, uh, they'll have to be very rugged. That is the second problem that you definitely need to solve. These are the two big things, in fact, three big things that I spoke about, right? Uh, uh, how do you bring in the uh, the kind of uh, uh, players or entrepreneurs that you play in, uh, what sort of unpacking that you do in terms of financing the assets, uh, who plays what role, and the third one being what sort of assets that uh, you put on the road. These are the challenges that I see for both uh, semi urban as well as uh, rural areas. Great. So adding to this, the VGF will play a very major role because now uh, the urban cities also are, you know, the government is giving VGF. So any urban and rural will definitely need a VGF uh, factor, which is going to be uh, subsidized, subsidized as well as a full So and the owners should be on the Mandala or Panchayat kind of, you know, everybody will have it, wherein they will understand, yeah, this, this property belongs to me, so that I do not, I, I mean, I should take care of this particular bike, which is going to solve my issue. So VGF is going to play a very big role in the semi-urban area. Gargi, can you have some quick views on that? Along with uh, what Mr. Reddy and Mr. Srivastav just mentioned, that you know the VGF will be playing a good role, and also that uh, you do not leave the bikes unmanned, uh, considering the chances of vandalism that we might have. So what Yulu is also trying to do here is we are trying to find local business partners, maybe you know someone from the village or someone from the semi-rural area to be a part of it. And we could give them uh, a number of bicycles or e-scooters, however is the demand. And the person would have an ownership to that, right? So when one has an ownership, he would take care of the assets and he would run the services properly. So this is something that we are also planning. And uh, like uh, other players as well, we are mostly catering to the tier one cities and the metro cities. But yes, uh, talking about tier two cities, they do not have a very, very strong use cases because the population is not that much. The infrastructure is better compared, I would say. The congestion on the roads is uh, not negative, but it's not that high of uh, congestion as well. So given all the good conditions, tier two city does not have that much demand as compared to the other big cities. So definitely we would like to solve the cities which have uh, the greater issues first. And then definitely go to the tier two cities. Yeah. In addition of the above, all these suggestions, I would mm -hmm. like to recommend that uh, CSR funds and institutional funds should be there for rural and semi-urban mm -hmm. towns. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can also ask for PSUs to promote these type of services in rural areas, so they, we can get the best results without investing the money from the private players. We can get the results and we can promote these type of services in rural areas. So we can, should include in our projects, this PSUs, CSR funds, and institutional funding should be there. Yeah, Atul, to your point, I think uh, that's where uh, the, other, uh, the uh, other point that I was mentioning, right? Many of the uh, discoms and uh, let's say oil marketing companies are trying to play in the uh, electric charging side. This is exactly the mandate that they have uh, from the government that uh, X portion of your overall expenditure has to go towards uh, building a, a charging infra, right? Yeah. So yeah. Until, unless it is mandated, uh, I don't think it's going to come from the pure good heart uh, that we'll go and do some good to the society. Yeah, they're playing on the CSR part, right? 
aware about the situation in the rural areas they usually have their own vehicles to to come from one station to other other station and and uh, coming coming to the application side they are not a lot of uh, intent towards using the application side of it but yes uh, since since uh, since the supply uh, there is a, there is a, there is a concept in economics which which says uh, supply creates its own demand Unless and until there is a supply, the demand will automatically will coming at uh, coming out uh, from that particular um, particular area or uh, where the fleet have been situated. So, in my view, in my view, uh, the single point of contact station will not be uh, feasible at compare uh, at as as uh, as uh, as from the experience that we have uh, in. Uh, in in the operation side uh, where uh, where only the single point of contact is uh, uh, is stationed and it does not create a kind of uh, connectivity from another uh, connecting stations so let's suppose um, if you want to if you want to check or if you want to analyze uh, the feasibility of any infrastructure within uh, any rural or uh, semi urban area where uh, where uh, where the feasibility is good uh, for for uh, for the infrastructure like this or not so i say there has to be more than 10 station and connecting satellite station have to be situated at that particular place to find out the feasibility in the longer run and uh, and uh, coming uh, sorry and uh, the better planning survey and uh, provide better result for setting up the station is very necessary for those uh, those stations and uh, and for the business side from the business side i say uh, there will be a lot of innovations coming out uh, from uh, from uh, from the players and the operator side and uh, and um, and bopal is one of the best example from the infrastructure side where you have already created lot of infrastructure for supporting the pbs and uh, you have uh, also uh, made out uh, the lanes and the proper cycling uh, infrastructure for um, for for the for the city of bopal and uh, similarly there are many other cities where where the municipalities are coming up with uh, similar uh, projects like uh, the recent uh, project that we have seen is guwahati where where they want to implement uh, pbs uh, along with uh, the bicycle bicycle lanes but uh, due to uh, due to restriction in uh, the funds a lot of uh, operators and uh, operators does not uh, see a lot of growth in that but still i see there will, there will be a lot of funds coming in from uh, from the government side as well uh, a few 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 uh, few months down the line and uh, and uh, government will be lot uh, government will be see lot of uh, potential coming up and lot of uh, funds will be sanctioned to that uh, particular uh, um, project and uh, uh, coming to the business model i see uh, the pbs by its nature is not uh, not a profitable venture as I, as i can say so what we have done with the poor rights is we have uh, we have lot of a um, uh, lot of revenues coming from the advertising naming uh, rights campaign of the given sector to support to the operational expenditure because uh, the thing is pbs is itself uh, demand lot of liquid and cash in and to to support day to day activities like tech and software side of the business most of the operators have been working on different uh, data sets as well where they are trying to analyze the service operations and expect to predict future possibilities based on uh, the past data they have uh, calculated and uh, and uh, with this uh, with this report i want to uh, show you one thing if i can present it here or not 
so this is uh, the study that we have uh, done with the system just a minute as anget brings it up uh, i'll just add uh, one point government is not uh, uh, in a role of uh, providing services and whenever uh, it does uh, take up that mantle it uh, uh, we know it for a fact that it bungles up uh, uh, greatly right so pick up any road transport corporation uh, of any of the states or uh, discom uh, all of them would be loss making ventures right uh, uh, so i don't think government should uh, continue to play that role obviously Uh, mm -hmm. the uh, infrastructure is where uh, their forte is and they should continue to focus there in building the infrastructure mm -hmm. and uh, give way to private players uh, play a lot better role uh, make the economics work for the private players uh, so yes. that they uh, they can make it a profitable venture rather than government in itself uh, coming up and uh, putting up uh, pbs system for all of these in place and uh, no, 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 not in that way problem. but the infrastructure side like yes this is please go ahead. and the other point that you are making right at uh, most of the investments that go in uh, in building these infrastructures are also uh, again a very pessimistic view that i take is uh, more or less i, I wash uh, i used to stay in akriti eco city uh, professor would know where it is uh, and the and the bicycle lane uh, east from there uh, to mandideep right uh, on the on the highway and uh, as soon as it laid and the inauguration happened i did travel on the same road and it was uh, it's built over storm drains okay and most of the drain covers have been opened so uh, it causes more harm uh, than good uh, that uh, many of these infrastructure causes right probably it is going to remain for uh, one month two months or six months and then as soon as it goes bad there will be no maintenance of that so all the time i still believe uh, much, much of this uh, uh, ecosystem has to be uh, built by the private players uh when when it comes to it and the uh, move towards uh, uh, or uh, move towards providing these services is towards electric bike in a form factor which is usable in the indian context yeah go ahead sure i 